Thank you, Mr Deputy President. I rise to speak uh, to the Telecommunications Interception and Access Amendment Data Retention Bill 2014. The current uh, uh, bill has brought deep uh, concern uh, to many Australians, and rightly so, as it raises complex and concerning issues, especially in relation to privacy, freedom of expression and media freedom. And I've had my own deep concerns uh, about this legislation, and I know some of my Labor colleagues uh, similarly have had uh, those deep concerns, such as the member for Chifley, the member for Fremantle, the member for Charlton, and other Labor colleagues as well. I have wrestled with these issues, and that is because data retention is a complex global issue, uh, but an issue that has to be dealt with in this uh, era of, of advanced technology. And it's, it's not a surprise that these are concerning issues, because communications data can reveal quite personal information uh, about an individual. It can reveal information uh, uh, without the content of the data being uh, uh, made available. It can reveal who a person is in contact with, how often and where. But we are informed that uh, uh, this, that we, you know, th this bill is needed uh, to ensure that our law enforcement agencies can keep pace with uh, the rapidly evolving telecommunications technology and services. And I think uh, I agree wholeheartedly with the, uh, the comments of former Senator John Faulkner, who, who said that the Australian Parliament must ensure uh, our intelligence and security agencies have the necessary powers and resources to protect Australian citizens and Australian interests, but these powers can impinge on the values and freedoms on which our democracy is founded, qualities which Australian citizens rightly uh, expect parliament to protect. So it is that parliament must strike that right balance uh, between our security imperatives and our liberties and freedoms. The key to achieving this balance is strong and effective accountability. That, I think, uh, therein lies the essence of what this debate is all about and what we must, as parliamentarians, try and strive to achieve. So what we have before us now are uh, follows amendments that were brought through the work of the Parliamentary Joint uh, Committee on Intelligence and Security, the work that they have done, uh, a great deal of work that they have done to improve what I think can be regarded as a shell of a bill last year that the government presented to something now which is trying very hard to get that balance right. And on that, I would like to thank uh, the work of my Labor colleagues who have closely reviewed uh, and rewritten uh, this legislation. After months of work, uh, their approach to the issue has led to a much improved piece of legislation being presented for debate as we have currently before us here in the Senate. Uh, significant minor technical and consequential amendments to clarify the intent of the bill, limiting the data set required to be retained under the scheme to that which is prescribed in the bill itself, rather than allowing the data set to be prescribed by regulation. Just some of the achievements done through my Labor colleagues through that uh, joint committee. Labor has insisted on significant improvements to oversight and transparency through the PJCIS inquiry into this bill, and the work of that uh, Joint Committee on Intelligence and Security has led, of course, to the 38 recommendations for inclusion in this legislation. These amendments, including protections for journalists, have been crucial absolutely crucial to the substance of this bill. The work of the Leader of the Opposition, the Shadow Minister for Communications, the Shadow Attorney-General and my Labor colleagues in pursuing the government 
for these amendments to be included has meant today we are debating legislation of a much greater quality than that that we saw last year. So I thank them uh, wholeheartedly for the work that they have done, but also for their consultative approach to this issue that has been part uh, of our Labor caucus. Looking at the substantive matter of this bill, examining the issue seriously and exploring all the options available to achieve a balance between the public interest in granting access to metadata and the protection of privacy rights has been critical. In fact, that is the critical uh, factor when we debate this bill that has been the focus, and I'm, I'm pleased that has been that focus from the outset. For the, for the Labor opposition. The storage of data onshore, protections for journalists to ensure freedom of speech is preserved, the inclusion of privacy alerts and the importance of oversight have helped shape my position from one of having great concern to one where I am comfortable with the outcomes that have been now delivered through that process and into this legislation. And as I said at the outset, it was a difficult issue uh, at, the out, at the beginning, but what we have before us now is a much more substantial bill than that which was provided to the parliament last year. Order. It being 6.30, the Senate will suspend until 7 p.m. <laughs>